hi and welcome uh, i hope you are good uh, this video is about how to generate a sequence of dates between two dates using pandas so basically the idea is to generate list of dates for example uh, the expected output uh, in our case is to generate dates between 1st jan 2020 and 31st Jan 2020. So for this, I'll be using uh, pandas and pandas has a method to do this. Uh, that method is uh, pandas date range method. So let's start with importing the pandas library first. So import pandas as pd. Okay, so we'll be using, as I said, uh, pandas date time library. So pd dot date range. When we click on shift tab it will give us the different uh, arguments that are needed for this uh, for this method so basically uh, start with start date and the end date so we'll give the start date it should be in quotes so first of jan 01 01 2020 that is first of jan and then 31st jan 2020 so here I have given the date in YY, sorry, DD, MM, YY, YY format. So to generate this output, this much line of code is sufficient. So let's see the, whether it matches or not. So yeah, so it, it's, it's, it, it's, match, it's matching completely. Uh, in fact, I use the same code to generate the expected output. But uh, the idea is uh, in this case, the to generate the uh, the list of dates so let's look at the length so it should be 31 because january we have from 1st of jan to 31st of jan so we have 31 days okay now there's one parameter if you there is one thing you you would notice here the frequency is d so what does d mean d is days so when we are generating the the sequence of dates it's generating that many days between these two dates including these dates so uh, there's an option to change this frequency so for example if we again do control tab then it has an argument called freq so by default it is taking it as it uh, as none if we change it to say w so it will generate we in the days uh, the end of the week so as you can see frequency when we have given w it is uh, giving uh, w hyphen sun that is sunday so that means uh, the end of the week it is considering at it as sunday and that is the date which is which it is returning so if we look at the calendar for 2020 you can see first is wednesday then thursday friday saturday sunday and saturday and sunday is fifth Again, the next day is 12th, that is the end of the week it is considering, the 19th and then 26th of Jan. Here you can see 26th of January. So it in this case, it is uh, generating uh, week, uh, weekly days, like the end of the week. So we'll I'll keep it as D because that is the question we are trying to answer. So even if we don't write frequency is equal to D, it will generate the same output because by default, this is, it is taking uh now the frequency as days so now in this case i have generated the day dates between uh the first of jan and 31st of jan let's in case let's say in case we want to generate the sequence of dates between the first of jan and 31st of december uh, so instead of 01 we'll just write 12. so it will uh, generate there's that many days so let's see what's the length of this Okay, it's 366. Uh, that means uh, 2020 is a leap year. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure. Yeah. Leap year 2020. Okay, that's why it is returning to 3366 days. Another point I want to make here is uh, pandas is intelligent enough to understand different formats of dates. Now in this case, I have given the date in the DDYY 
sorry sorry ddmm yyyy format in case if we give the uh, the dates in some other format let's see whether pandas is able to identify it or not so if i write uh, i'll be putting it the date in yyyy mm td format so it's uh, 2020 01 01 and the end date is 2020 12 i'll keep it 01 31 okay so in this case as well it is generating the the same the same number of the same output let let's see whether it's taking if i write 01 hyphen jan 2020 uh, i just want to see i'm not sure whether it will work or not so 01 jan 2020 31st jan 2020 okay yeah it's it's still able to identify it uh, so there, there are multiple formats it's able to identify uh, you can give the the input the start date and the end date as per your requirement requirement uh, pandas is intelligent enough to identify it so okay let, let's write down the summary to finish this video so first thing is we need is a start date in our case it was zero one zero sorry zero one two thousand twenty it needs an end date in our case it was zero i'll just keep it jan 31st jan 2020 so all we need to do is to generate the sequence of dates pd pandas now first you need to import uh, pandas as pd pd dot date underscore range you have start underscore date uh, start date and end date and this is optional if you give it uh, d even if you don't give or give it will give the same output because uh, it is uh, the default value for frequency uh, is taken as d so this both of the both line of codes will give the same output and for weekly uh, there are other options as well like monthly so just to mention i am mentioning it uh, there are other options as well to uh, to generate suppose you want to the start of the month or the end of the month for a, for a particular year so that all can be done instead of w it will be m so that's all for today uh, for this video so uh, basically you have to use pd dot date underscore range method to generate the sequence of dates between two dates uh, thank you i hope it was useful take care